<coughs> Hello, everyone. Guess what? I cannot believe what happened earlier.、Um, this is my、uh, children's school. There is a small Marks and Spencer little shop. This is actually a petrol station. Sometimes I come to this shop after drop kids off、uh, in the morning, and I've been living here for five years. But seriously, today this is the first time ever. Um, I was literally shocked、uh, when I was shopping in this shop because I was just, you know, doing my shopping and check the fruits and stuff like that. I was just doing my shopping, and all of a sudden, I've seen a man, really, really tall man, just walked in with a bag, quite a big bag. Just put all of the, you know, the steak and the meat, very expensive meat, just into his bag. I mean, I heard about you know people talk about it and stories like that. You know, other moms or my friends they talk about it, but I never ever seen it. <laughs> um, so I was just so shocked. How come someone could just walk into a shop and just take whatever they want and just walk out? And then at that moment, I was like, I walked around the back and then I found the staff there. And I'm like, excuse me. Look, that man, that man is stealing things. I was like that, and the man said, I know. So the staff just said, I know, but couldn't do anything about it. And then later on, I think only about two or three minutes,、uh, the robber, well, not really robber. It's like someone's robbing the the shop. It's like. You cover your face, or no, you know, or you carry a knife, or. But that man was just like, "This is my shop. I take whatever I want." And after that, just walked out. And I'm like, so I was really, really shocked. And then I talked to the shop、uh, staff. I said, "How come? Can you not do anything?" And he said, "Well." According to our company's policy, we couldn't do anything.、Uh, we can call the police, but I'm not too sure if police will come. Or by the time police is here, the the man is gone. And I said, "Can you not stop him?" And he said,、uh, "No." He said, "What about if the guy carry, you know, a knife, and then he could hurt me?" And so I think their company policy is just leave it. And I'm like, I was just so shocked at that moment when I was in in the in the shop. I didn't feel safe、uh, because I was just shopping. All of a sudden, a man just carry a bag and put whatever he wants into his bag. I I've never seen. I've been living here for five years. Um, I know it doesn't happen very often, but it does happen. So today, I've seen it in my own eyes. And I was really shocked, and at the same time, I felt、um, not very safe when I was shopping the shop. And then now, when I walked out, I'm like, "Hang on a minute, that's also not fair, because I'm paying whatever, you know, I'm buying, while someone else could just, you know, take whatever they want." And so you just feel like it's so unfair, <laughs> you know, you. Work hard for it, and then you pay for it. And some people just walk in and take whatever they want. Um, I always think, cause I'm not British, but I always think British laws. How can I say? Are really, really strict. You know, you have a law for pretty much everything. So it's just to make me think. You know, how can people just? Behave like this, and they don't get punishment. You know, they do it, and there is no consequences. You know, they do it because they know no one can do anything to them.、Um, like I said, I always think British law is like very strict and very fair. That's why you know, years and years and years ago,、uh, I think even when you just Steal probably a, a piece of bread, and they send you to prison. I mean, years and years ago, 
that's why they send a lot of prisoners because you run out of space, you send a lot of people to Australia. And yeah, and then that's how I think anyway. Um, I'm just really, really shocked to see what I've seen today. Um, and I just want to warn the people, maybe if you are not British and you just move to this country, just don't panic when you see things like that and speak to the staff, even though they can't do anything. Um, just don't get scared. Um, I hope things could improve. Uh, I don't know when, but I hope um, things could be better um, in the next couple of years. So um, just, yeah, just like to share what I've seen today. And I'm really, really shocked to see this um uh yes so um let me know what you think have you seen stuff like this happened uh, in your city um yeah i'll see you next time bye